Today I'm going to do a review on this Pitbull Gold Skull Shaver. So if you've been contemplating on getting one of these, the short and sweet answer is yes. Yes, go ahead and order it. These are a great product. It works pretty much as advertised. There were, qu there were quite a few bad reviews and stuff on Amazon, but uh, I think some of that may have just been an improper usage, which I'll talk about here in a minute. But um, I'm going to pretty much go and answer any questions you're probably wondering about this. So the first thing you're probably wondering is how close to the shave are you going to get with something like this? Believe it or not, this thing shaves as close, if not <clears throat> almost as close, if not as close as a straight razor. Um, I was quite frankly blown away by it. I was expecting it to be like a set of clippers without the guard, which would have been fine for my purposes, but oh no, it'll take it right down to the skin. Um, you may be able to feel a little bit of stubble, especially as the blades get some wear on them, but it won't be anything that you can actually see. Now, how much hair will something like this cut through? Um, I would recommend using it in intervals of about two or three days, but um, I have had my hair about as long as a buzz cut, maybe about as long as what a number one guard on a set of clippers would leave, and it cut through that. Um, the general rule of thumb with these is the longer your hair is, the slower it cuts. So I don't know what, I've never actually like tried to torture test the thing and see what the max limit is. But um, as long as you're, you're not, you know, I don't know, pushing like number two or number three um, guard territory, you should be fine. Will it irritate your skin? I have no, had no issues with this irritating my skin whatsoever, as long as you use it on your head. And I've gone around my, you know, ears and temples and everything, and I haven't had any problems. That being said, if you do go to the base of your neck, you will get razor burn there. So you can only use this on your head. You cannot use this on any other part of your body. And I think that may have been where some of the bad reviews are coming from. Is some people probably tried to shave the back of their neck and all that. And I've done that myself and it will give you razor burn if you do that. Um, and everything I'm saying, by the way, it speaks for the, the Pitbull Gold version. There is a, like a silver one or something that's supposed to be a little cheaper. So I don't know if it's, this, this one's supposed to have better blades, so. You know, so what's the proper way to use this? How do you hold it? Um, it's really simple, it just has one button to turn it on. You got your battery display going right there. Mine's currently at 65%. And that's really handy to have. I think the cheaper ones don't come with that, but um, it, it's worth it to have. You pretty much just use this like a palm sander on your head. Um, you either grip it Let's see here like this and kind of go in a circular motion or you could grab the top of it too um, or sometimes I'll kind of sweep and go back and forth as well um, it does cut pretty quickly so can you change the blades on this yes yes you can all you do is just pull this right here and in order to get them out you twist this loose and all your parts and stuff will pretty much come out. This is also how you will service and maintain this. So you might be wondering, okay, well how often does this need to be cleaned out? Um, really, pretty much every use, I just take it and hold it upside down under the, the water for a little bit and dump it out. And that usually cleans out a lot of the hair in and of itself. Every now and then I'll break it out down like I just showed you and wash all the parts individually. If you do that, be very careful because they're very easy to drop and have them go bouncing everywhere. So, oops, bumped the camera there. Um, so, <clears throat> you know, be, be mindful where you are when you do that. Uh, I recommend doing it um, in the sink with the drain closed. Now this is advertised to be able to be used wet or dry. So um, if you're wondering what's the better way to go with that, uh, I personally prefer to use this in the shower. Um, I think you know having the water hit your head helps soften the hair, it helps cool the blades, and just it just seems to work better that way. That being said, a buddy of mine who also has one of these, he shaves with it just um, he shaves with it dry. 
and um, he said he hasn't had any problems. So, I mean, like I said in the get-go, this thing does work pretty much as it's advertised. Um, as long as you use it exclusively to shave your, to maintain a bald head, you shouldn't have any issues. Um, so what's the build quality like? You know, if you're wondering, you know, what are you really getting here? These are kind of pricey. I think most of the, the cost goes into the blades. Um, but this whole thing is pretty much made of plastic. It's not a cheap plastic per se. I'd still say it's pretty well made. And I mean, you're obviously, you're not gonna want something unless it's stainless steel or aluminum, you're not gonna want that in a shower or a human environment. Anyway, um, I've had no problems. There's, of course, there's soap scum on it and all that stuff because it sits in the shower all the time, but I have had no problems with, you know, mildew or anything growing in it or on it. Um, it, it works, yeah, I mean, it, 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 I've never really had any, you know, mechanical issues except for one and, uh, that one issue, I actually had to replace the bottom end of this because one of these blades would just kind of lock up and get stuck. And I don't know, I think I may have pressed down or bared down with it too hard and I was using it one time and bent something. I tried fixing it and I it could not get it to work. So I ended up just ordering a whole new bottom and replacing it and it was fine. That was the only issue I've had. Um, I've had it for over a year and a half now and the battery life is still respectable um of course all batteries go bad over time but um you know it's maybe once a month i have to plug it up and charge it now if you need to replace any parts of this this actually breaks down in the middle as well you just twist this apart i get you to focus here twist this apart right here and that comes right apart so Overall, it does have a plasticky feel to it, but yeah, you know, it's good enough for all intents and purposes. And that's pretty much all I have to say. I hope I covered everything. If not, just leave a comment and I'll happily answer your question. Um, as of why I even did this review after all this, I mean, this channel is extremely random anyhow, but uh, I've just had several people ask me about these and when I tell them I own one, because a lot of people are kind of curious to how they operate or how well they work, so. I deemed it necessary. There were some other reviews on YouTube talking about these, but they're really long-winded and just, I don't know. I mean, if you're looking at a review, you just want the information. You just want to know if you want to buy it or not. And I'm going to go ahead and tell you right now, like I said in the beginning, go ahead and buy it. It's a great product. Um, you know, use it about two or three times a week. Uh, not two, three. Use it every two or three days to shave your head. And, you know, make sure you clean the hair out. Just run it under the faucet and, and dump it or take the blades out like I showed you. And you shouldn't have any issues. So, um, thanks for watching. And that is all.